Hello, this is Patrick Botticelli with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. Today I'd like to show you the brand new 2015 Airstream Sport 22 FB. FB stands for front bedroom and it's a Bambi. Bambi is a nickname associated with any single axle Airstream trailer. That would be the 16J Sport Bambi. That would be the 19C Flying Cloud Bambi. 19C International Signature Series Bambi, 19C International Serenity Bambi, the 20C Flying Cloud Bambi, and the 22FB Sport Bambi. That's the Bambi series. And again, it's a nickname associated with any single axle Airstream trailer built today. This trailer is the most unique Airstream trailer that we build today in regards to the width. It's built at seven foot three and a quarter inches wide which is uh, made specifically for a mid-size SUV. Most mid-size mid SUVs are short wheelbase and narrower than a pickup truck or a full-size SUV. The other Bambi models are eight foot wide and this one is seven foot three and a quarter. This is one of our most popular Bambi models. We sell a lot of them. It's a great upgrade for someone that bought a 16 or 19. Uh, the features on the trailer it has a manual hitch jack, plastic bottle cover with two 20 pound propane tanks. Those propane tanks are the same size that you use for a barbecue grill. The nice thing about this size propane tank, they're exchangeable. You could bring them to a gas station and exchange them for a full tank and not have to wait in line to get them filled. We also have a single deep cycle group 24 series interstate battery in a plastic box we have a solid box frame this is all powder coated we have a spare tire underneath the a-frame of the trailer the underside of the trailer is completely enclosed in aluminum and it's insulated as well as the tanks are heated have LED uh, marker lights on the exterior solar stone guards the middle one lifts up so you could open the window from the inside. We have a 3M film for rock protection. This chair is a little bit narrower, so it doesn't necessarily need the heavy-duty stainless steel wrap protectors that the other wider trailers use. But you can buy them as an accessory and have them installed aftermarket, although not common to be done. Lockable, insulated, weather-sealed compartment vinyl flooring throughout this is where we're storing the power cord but there's also a light in this compartment off to the side metal wrapped awning vinyl material 225 75 r15 inch tires aluminum rims we have a single entry step stabilizer jacks all four corners outside step light heavy duty metal lock detachable screen door from the main door this here fills the gap tig welded stainless steel hinge six rivets on each hinge very heavy duty door aluminum grab handle aluminum awning arms we have um, led tail lights very clean lines very european look in this trailer has tinted safety glass windows. This bottom portion opens out, cranks back in. There's an insect screen on every window that opens. On this side, we have our gray and black tanks. The black tank is the toilet waste. The gray tank is the sink and shower waste. There's a light outside that illuminates this area at night. We have a city water connection which bypasses the fresh water tank, supplies water to all your faucets on demand, has a water pressure regulator built in, that'll protect your trailer from high water pressures, unexpected spike in pressure at the campground, you're protected. After you empty your black tank, you can hook up a garden hose to this connection here, leave the black handle open, have the waste hose hooked up, garden hose hooked here, under pressure will clean the walls of the tank out, so you get the residual waste out of the tank, which keep your trailer smelling clean and uh, prevent tank buildup. This is an outside utility shower with hot and cold water. The wand will hang up here. 
it's lockable. You have your television and satellite connection outside. Attachable 30 amp Marinko power cord will hook into this connection. Screws on with a weather tight seal. Refrigerator ventilation system. There's a below counter refrigerator, so it has a double vent with a thermostatically controlled fan. The air conditioning on this unit has a drip tube between the wheel wells. There's the furnace and exhaust. You have a 20 gallon fresh water tank, potable tank, and that also has a drain in the insulated heated uh, chamber. There's also a waste hose storage tube installed under this trailer, so you can store your waste hose when you're done using it. We have a six gallon Atwood water heater with DSI, direct spark ignition. You turn the switch on from inside. It'll use your propane gas to heat the water with electric spark ignition. We have your VIN plate with tire information, tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure before towing the trailer. Compact enough, it's about the same size of a, a, a parking spot. It's 21 foot 8 inches and that is measured from the center of the ball to the very, very back of the trailer. Up front, we also have a propane quick disconnect port so you could hook in a portable barbecue grill to the trailer without having to disconnect your prop, uh, propane tanks. On the roof, we have a television antenna, a radio antenna, there's a skylight, there's a ventilation system, your gray and black tank vents all utilizing the roof. The roof has a white coating. It's a coating that's applied on top of aluminum skin that repels sunlight, keeps the interior temperature of the trailer roughly seven degrees cooler than outside temperature, and allows for a great adhesion point for all of our seals around our air conditioning, any protrusions through the roof. All right, let's take a look inside this trailer because it's very impressive how open this trailer is. All right, inside, It's very open. First thing I want to do is I'm going to walk to the front of the trailer and turn on the battery system. I left the lights on before, but normally you'd have the lights shut off before you put it in storage, and you sh then you'd turn off the battery disconnect. But look how open this trailer is. Lots of windows, lots of ventilation. This is equipped with the black ultra leather. There's also an optional gold ultra leather and your standard fabric. Mocha blue or shark's fin are available as well. Those are carryover colors from 2009 when this trailer was first introduced. There's been many changes, upgrades, and improvements they made over the years of this trailer and it is absolutely incredible today. And again, we do sell a lot of these Airstream Sport Bambies. By the entry door, we have coat hooks, dry erase board, which is also magnetic. We have a bumper for exiting the trailer, so if you bump your head, it won't hurt as much. We have an access panel that's cut out by the CNC machine. It gives us access for the shower faucet if it ever needed to be replaced. We have a fire extinguisher, magazine rack, access hatch to storage underneath the dyna, but you could also lift the cushion and get the storage this way as well. Okay, in the bathroom, we have a gap for the door that allows this ventilation fan to exhaust stale air or steam out of the shower area. We could also manually lift the lid and we have a variable speed control one, two, or three. This is a fuse and the detachable screen allows you to clean the fan blades or the screen off periodically. Vinyl flooring goes throughout. We have storage underneath the sink, toilet paper holder, very beautiful faucet, very high end, thick gauge stainless steel sink, rear window. If you lift up the blinds, it'll make it a little bit easier, but you can open it from the inside. Mini blinds allow you to control the light better. There's a ledge up top for some storage. Toilet bowl, furnace duct, storage area. You could turn on the ceiling light from here. 
The water heater is a gas water heater. You flip the switch, red light comes on, water heater ignites, red light shuts off. The red light came back on, the water heater would have misfired and the light would warn you to let you know you have a problem, you're out of propane, you ran out of, I'm sorry, you have an air bubble in the propane or something caused the water heater not to ignite. We could turn on the water pump from here, check our battery level, our fresh water capacity, our gray tank capacity, and our black tank. Back of the door here has a little towel bar. There's an accordion door for the shower that locks in. Shower faucet, sprayer is detachable, pausable. It's a built-in clothesline on all the Airstream trailers. Pulls across and hangs on a hook. Allows you to put your bathing suit up there or towel to let it dry. There's a two-piece shower enclosure. There's an ABS plastic, little seat ledge, drain plug, and a rack for shampoo or soap. And then there's also a mirror with the magnification side. You can flip it over and lock it in place. The light also, these are incandescent lights on this trailer on the inside. You could turn one on, turn it off here, or you could use the wall sh uh, switch. Dinette is very large, good enough to sleep. Two average size adults or two children, or one large adult. There's an electrical outlet underneath. You have a ventilation window on the side, your step light or your ceiling light switch you could control from in here. We have a speaker here and one there for your stereo system. Another furnace duct. Inside the wardrobe, very spacious area. Shelf up top, premium detachable and adjustable hardware. Light inside the wardrobe. And the wardrobe floor, if you could get a good grip on it, lifts up, which gives you access to see some of the construction of the Airstream travel trailer, to service the water pump, to check plumbing, to run wires. You could also see the black tank from in here. The outside of the tank, you could see. We also have a propane leak detector on the floor. Battery converter charger, which converts AC to DC, charges the battery has your electrical breakers and your 12 volt ATC automotive fuses, 15 amp, 40 amp, and 3 amp sizes. GFCI resets built into here, and there's a little fan that will kick on the bottom. When the battery charger kicks in to cool that compartment off. Your furnace is forced air propane with a DSI ignition. You can control that from here. Your temperature, turn it on and off from the top. The Medic three way refrigerator. Allows you to run the refrigerator on electric, gas, or battery. You can put it on automatic mode and we'll search between electricity or gas. If you do have electricity available, it's going to use electricity. If you don't, it's going to automatically run on propane. And you can change your temperature from cold to coldest from here. The freezer compartment in this is also removable. You can take these little clips, undo the freezer compartment, slide this whole module out, and you'll have one large refrigerator and there's a nice blue LED light in that compartment. We have a crank up television antenna on the roof. Once you get it up, you could turn the booster on which turns the antenna on, pull the collar down and spin it around to get better signal and then go through the auto program menu on your television to program the channels that will come in in your specific location. Make sure if, when you're done after you spin it around a few times you can see that there's an arrow here and an arrow on the ceiling. Make sure you line those up before you crank it down. Television comes disconnected from here, which allows you to articulate the bracket. When you're towing or at the storage, make sure it's in a locked position. We have an electrical outlet next to the TV. A little rack for storage. Two burner cooktop with a spark ignition. Convection microwave, just like a regular microwave you have in your home, but also has an electric element built in with a fan in the back, which circulates the hot air around your food to allow you bake and brown. Very, very nice microwave, stainless steel door, matches the whole look of the Airstream trailer. Storage compartment here goes right up to the wheel well. They utilize every inch in an Airstream. 
Some other brand trailers might just put a panel there and not utilize that as storage, but Airstream does. Also, all the cabinetry in an Airstream travel trailer today is plywood with laminate. So this is plywood, it's laminated on all the sides. So this is not a sticker, this is regular laminate like you'd use on a countertop. Lam laminate countertop as well. We also have a light over your uh, cooking area. And we have a stereo system with a USB port in the front. We have USB charge ports next to it, auxiliary input, and place CDs. Cabinets, when you lift them up, it locks into a groove. To release it, just push in. That releases your Tambrador cabinets. Air conditioning, we have a 13,500 BTU AC. You have to be plugged into electricity in order for this to run or be plugged into a generator. We also have a skylight with a thermal brake and a shade. For the bedroom area, we have a privacy curtain that you can pull across. Gives that bedroom area enough privacy and you could tighten it up to cover the edges as well. Regular residential mattress in a custom shape. There's a pillow top memory foam mattress. There's storage under the bed. It gives you all these plastic bins. Here's some of the stuff that comes with the trailer. And you could also get to the water heater bypass for winterization from inside this compartment. Over the bed, we have your smoke and carbon dioxide detectors. One window that opens here, the center window opens after the rock guard is opened. We have a side window that opens and there's also emergency exit. Two red handles to pull down. The window will hinge out so you can climb out in case of emergency. We also have two lights over the bed, two more additional storage compartments. Another light here. Very wide open. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera so you could see how to fold the dinette down and make that into another bed. Okay, to operate the dinette, what I'm going to first do is move some of these decor pillows out of the way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the telescopic table. Clamp here, clamp here, and there's another pin to release here. It allows the table to slide around. You can also spin the table. What you want to do is apply firm pressure towards the center. Bring the table down just enough so you can loop the two side cushions over it. Once you get it down, slide it underneath this cushion here and lock it all in place. Once you have that position, you're going to separate the backrest from the corner bolster. Remove the corner bolster, remove this backrest, and remove this one. You have a bed that's big enough for two adults to sleep on. It's long enough for me. I'm five foot nine and a half inches tall. Put it back together. This here, this corner bolster next to it, just Velcro here, there's Velcro on this end. Slide those together. Same here as well. All the cushions are hand sewn. Nice foam inside. They do a great job on their upholstery as well. To bring the table back up. We're going to unlo uh, unloosen the two clamps. Slide the table out. Push the cushions underneath. Bring it up. Lock it in place. Now you have a dinette that the whole family can sit at. You can still spin it if you want it to sit in this area here and look out this way. Or sit here and look at the television, which also has a DVD player built into it so you can watch some movies. This trailer is for sale at Colonial Airstream. Our website is www.colonialairstream.com. My name is Patrick Botticelli and I would love to help you. My number is one 800 265-9019, extension 103. I'm here every day except for Wednesday. Thank you for watching my video. Please comment, like it, share it. We'd love it. Thank you.